In this video, we will try out some College Board multiple choice questions about exponential functions. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.3. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number one, the function g is a function of the form g of x equals a times b to the x, where a is not zero and b is greater than zero. The function f is given by f of x equals g of x plus four. Which of the statements is true? When they defined function g, they gave us the model for an exponential function. So we know g of x is exp exponential. We don't actually know if it is a exponential growth or exponential decay, or it could be a reflection like this, but we know it's exponential. So by definition, we know that over equal length input value intervals, the output values of g of x are proportional. And this is the wording that the College Board likes to use. So be familiar. We are told that f of x equals g of x plus four. That is a vertical translation of g of x by four. The question is, will the output values still be proportional after a vertical translation like this? Let's do an experiment. Let's say these are a few values of exponential function g of x. Notice that the output values change proportionally because uh, the first ratio, four divided by two, is two. In other words, we are multiplying by two as we go from the first number to the second number. And the second ratio is also two. Eight divided by four is two. So that's what they mean by the output values are proportional. Now let's consider the output values of f of x if f of x is g of x plus four. So we're just adding four to all of the output values of g. So this will be six and the next one will be eight and the third one will be 12. The question is, will these values still be proportional? The first ratio is eight over six, which equals four over three. The next ratio is 12 over eight, which equals three over two. So these output values are not proportional. We don't get the same ratio. So from now on, let's always remember that if you do a vertical translation to an exponential function, the output values will not be proportional. So the answer is C. The output values of G only, not F, are proportional over equal length input values. Number two, the value two times two times two times two times two times 4.7 is the output value of an exponential function of the form f of x equals a times b to the x, where a and b are constants. Which of the following describes the function and input value that corresponds to this output value? Let's see, two times two times two times two times two. That is two to the fifth power. And then times 4.7, which I will put in the front to help it match this format. So this is the output value. Let's temporarily call the input value c. So for some c, f at c is equal to this expression. Comparing the output expression to the model they gave us, it looks like a is 4.7 and b is the two. Therefore the five must be the x. In other words, f at five would give us 4.7 seven times two to the fifth. So five must be our input value C. We can eliminate options C and B because they say the input value is 4.7. We can find the actual initial value by evaluating F at zero. This will be 4.7 times two to the zero power. Two to the zero power is one, and 4.7 times one is simply 4.7. So this is the initial value. And the answer is D. The exponential function has an initial value of 4.7,
and a base of 2, and an input value of 5. Quick side note, you don't really have to do this last step where we did f at 0 if you understand that the a value is always going to be the initial value. So once we wrote this function, we knew that the initial value was 4.7 and the base was 2. Number 3, the function f is given by f of x equals 5 times 0.7 to the x power. Which of the following describes f? Here's the model for an exponential function. The b value determines whether the function will be exponential growth or decay. If b is greater than 1, then it's exponential growth. If b is between 0 and 1, then it's exponential decay. All of that is assuming that a is positive. Since the b value of the exponential function is between 0 and 1, this is exponential decay. So we can eliminate options c and d. To choose between a and b, we need to decide whether the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals 0 or infinity. But we already determined that f of x is exponential decay. And an exponential decay graph looks like this. It will be decreasing from left to right as we approach the x-axis asymptotically. So the limit as x approaches infinity is the value that f of x approaches as we go towards the right. And we can see that the function is approaching a value of 0. So the answer is A. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.